What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman! And since the beginning of time on my Facebook fan page, everyone's always been like, make a video about types of siblings. And I've always just been like, no. 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 No, no, I'm not going to do it. But then today I was all like, okay, I'll do it. So grab yourself some popcorn, grab your brother, grab your sister so you can point at each other this whole video, and just for good measure, grab your mom too so she can whoop you both at the end of it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Number one, the not guilty. Now as per my experience, the not guilty is usually the older sibling who was somehow born with a get out of jail card embedded into their butthole because no matter what they do, they ain't getting in trouble. Is this just a brown thing? I don't know, you tell me. Because when I was younger, my older sister wouldn't get blamed for anything solely because she was older. <laughs> Mom, this is beating me up. <laughs> Lily, listen to your sister, okay? She older. Mom! Mom, Didi won't give my laptop back. I have to do my homework. Listen to your sister, okay? She knows. She older. Oh, you're such an idiot. Shut up. I said shut up. You shut up. Lily! Yeah. Number two, the not guilty. Can you imagine if our justice system was like this? And so, Mr. Schmooface, it seems that you're being charged for armed robbery and there's several eyewitness accounts and video evidence that you committed the crime. Therefore, I have no choice but to sentence you to... Oh, wait one second here. It seems here that you are older than the person you robbed. Well then, you know what? Here's your new car, $10,000. No, take this McDonald's coupon. Get out of here, okay? Keep doing a great job. Number two, the third parent. Now, this sibling is usually older than you by a lot. And instead of acting like your homie, you know, like your sister from the same mister, like your brother from the same mother, they act like a third parent. Just always trying to convince your parents to say no to you. And when you expect them to have your back the most, they throw you under the bus. Oh, Lily, you're not going, okay? Oh my god, mom, all my other friends are going. It's just for five days, come on. I don't ready get. God, you're ruining my life. Sis, can you please tell her it'll be fine? Hmm, I don't know. Are there any parents going? Uh, no. But there's like a group of 20 people going. It'll be fine. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> She has a boyfriend. Huh? Lily's boyfriend's going on the trip, that's why she wants to go. She snuck out two days ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, but Lily failed math and she hid her report card. This true? Okay, well she's not even really a vegetarian, she eats Big Macs all the time. Hey. Okay, Lily got a speeding ticket and she never told you her court date is in two weeks. I found birth control in her room. She doesn't even have a tutor, that's her parole officer. Oh yeah, well I saw her smoking yesterday, I saw her, she had it in her mouth. You little brat, I told you that was a toothpick. Oh, shut up. Crackhead. Sure. Oh no, sorry, I'm just waiting at this bus stop that my sister brought me to, just <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just got ran over by the bus. Look at me, I'm under the bus now. Bloody roadkill. Number three, the example. Now, if you have a sibling, chances are your parents continuously tell you, we don't have favorites, we love you both the same. And that could be true or not, depending on how naive you are. But sure enough, there's always that one sibling who got better grades, who's a star child, who never got in trouble. And while you never go to family parties because you're out with your friends being a terrible child, they're with their aunt and uncle just like, What a t-shirt reference! And because of this, you will constantly be reminded of all your shortcomings. When your sister in school, she got full marks, you know, 110% mark. Okay, that's not even possible. You cannot get 110%. No, no, her teacher say she's so good, they will change the system. Ask them, they said like this, and you, bloody 98%, got it. Look at this one, you know when your sister, your age, she had two jobs, okay? <laughs> then your sister, your age, okay, she had five minute phone limit, okay? You, not on phone, five minute, no Twitter, Twitter, five minute, you ah! I'll call you back. Number four, the brat days. As 
from my experience, this is usually the younger sibling who gets everything they want because if they don't get it, they will whine and complain and throw a tantrum. Because the older sibling had a 5 minute phone limit when she was 18 and the younger sibling has an iPhone 5 at the age of 14. The older sibling had to wear that ugly sweater passed down from her uncle for picture day while the younger sibling walks into picture day wearing Lululemon pants, Chanel sweaters, Michael Kors watch, just like, take my photo. Major evolution of one. And I'm proud to say that I am that brat child. What's up, sis? Number six, Simba slash Nala. Now this is more a stage. Let me break it down for you, okay? Even though you probably fight with your siblings every single day, this will inevitably happen. Did you take my shirt? No. I know you took no, my shirt. I, didn't. I know you took my I'll shirt. You all I won't let you have to go on. I know you took my shirt. I'm not touching you. Stop it. I'm not touching you. Stop it. I'm not touching you. Ah! Yo, what? <laughs> Lily, don't do it. I swear to God, Lily, don't do it. You're getting married? That's right, Lily. From now on, it's just going to be you, me, and Daddy. No! Don't leave me! <laughs> Because one day, the circle of life is going to continue and your older sibling is going to get married and you're just going to be like, this is strange. Because little Simba or Nala grows up and then has their own kids and their own family and becomes some sort of adult. And you're just like, you cannot be an adult, okay? You are a child. You are my sister, okay? You killed Mufasa and Ish. Like, stop it. Stop it. Don't try to be all grown, okay? I'm on to you. Don't be standing there like, with your child, okay? And come play Nintendo with me. Having said all of that, siblings are great. If you're lucky enough to have a sibling, you should definitely cherish them forever, ever, forever, ever. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your sibling and also click the links in the description to share it on both Facebook and Twitter. Also, make sure you rate, comment, and hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. And before I go, I just gotta say, yo, 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 did you hear? I hit 2 million subscribers! Thank you so, 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 so much. I'm so overwhelmed and I feel so, so blessed and grateful. So thank you for all your support. I love you so much. And one love, superwoman, that is a wrap. And...